Bowlers of all skill levels can benefit from doing core exercises. Core strengthening involves your abs and your hips and your back muscles. Doing these exercises can help improve your posture and your leverage. A great way to do these exercises is to involve a physio ball, also known as an exercise ball or a Swiss ball. As you can see, there are many different sizes, so choosing the right one can be hard. It can also make your exercising experience more difficult than it needs to be. So a great way to choose the right size is to just simply sit on it and see if your knees bend to a 90 degree angle. If this happens, then it's probably a good choice for you. Oftentimes with bowling, bowlers will experience low back tightness or upper back tightness. A great way to stretch it out using a physio ball is to lay on your back with your legs up on the ball and then simply rotate from side to side trying to keep your upper back flat on the ground. This will help keep the low back muscles nice and loose, allowing your hips and upper back to be able to move freely. Bowlers often have tightness in their upper back and shoulders. A way to work on this while using the physio ball is to sit with the, your legs crossed and the ball out in front of you. Place a hand on top of the ball and reach out from side to side while rotating your torso at the same time. In order to get into a strong finish position, it's important to have good core strength and hip mobility. This exercise here, where we're doing leg pulls on top of the ball, can help improve that. Simply surf your heels on the ball and bring your knees to your chest. So this is going to work on range of motion and core strength at the same time. Another great exercise to work on core strengthening and hip mobility is to start with your legs on the ball and lift your leg up, lower it back down, and then bring it out to the side. So you're having to use your core strength in order to stabilize the ball and you're working on your hip mobility while raising and lowering your leg and also bringing it out to the side and back. In addition to hip mobility and core strength, it's also important to have strong legs. We can start to do that with the physio ball as well. Teresa is going to stabilize the ball in between her feet and simply lift it up off the floor and lower it back down. And then to increase the challenge, she can, when she lifts it up, she can rotate her feet on, from the top and the bottom of the ball, increasing the difficulty of this exercise. When working on your core strength and hip mobility, the use of a physio ball can make your exercises more challenging and more fun. But make sure you're using a ball that fits your body type.